few hours away from kickoff against Stevenage this afternoon at the park, and it's time for another catch up uh, with Chaz. The weather, do you know what? The sun started to appear for the first time in three weeks, as I said that behind the cloud. It's dry for a change. How are we? Uh, we're good, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, drying out, he said, hopefully. Um, I just started white lining and the rain came down, so I abandoned, went and had a cup of tea and a few uh, wine gums just to keep my strength up. Um, yeah, stadium's good. Training ground's just depressing with the amount of water that it's had to deal with, but uh, we're working, working on ways of improving it as we speak in the close season. So that's exciting for me. I can do lots of head scratching and thinking and coming up with solutions that are affordable and, and uh, efficient to, to do. So yeah, the weather's obviously, you know, everyone talks about the weather, um, me, and, me included all the time because it's really important to us. Um, but it's been a real challenge and standing up in the office with Gary yesterday and looking out on the pitch to yet another waterlogged pitch. Um, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? You just got to get on with it and do your best and come out the other side. I got to wonder where does all the time go? Penultimate home game of the season. One left after today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the season. I was thinking earlier. Um, oh, there's a the storm gone, coming in. There's yeah, the there we go. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's uh, it's it's gone like lightning. Certainly since Christmas. I mean, two minutes ago. We, we were playing Peterborough here and it was like bang gone. And uh, um, yeah, it's really uh, a bit weird, really. But I suppose that's my age as much as anything. You can't say that because you're not nowhere near as old as me. You're probably about half my age, I suspect, aren't you? I wasn't going to comment on <laughs> anything like that. Don't worry. You, you Don't. say I'm an ancient relic. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are my words. <laughs> um, I know you're a bit frustrated with the, with the training ground and, and what the weather has caused up there. But I hear you've got a new member of staff up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were um, rattling about in uh, in the mess room, going between the mess room and the, and the workshop. And um, Ryan actually went to put a coat on, and then and luckily before he picked the coat up, in the hood of the coat, which was hanging outside, was a, a robin, and it laid some eggs. So we've had to change our block one of the doors off and protect it a little bit, and we're we're hoping to have more than one new member of staff to help us keep the yeah. worm worms down. Worm control, they are. Have you considered names yet? No, I haven't really thought it that through. <laughs> we're just trying to, we're just trying to not disrupt it, so it can actually have a life and have a life for its young. So um, that's kept, so kept our spirits up and give us something to focus on when every day we come in. It's soaking wet. It's not your coat anymore. It's gone. It has the, gone. You're the right. Coat it's has gone. gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said, one game left after today. Um, it's, what is it, three, three weeks, isn't it? So that's probably yeah. one of the longest periods the pitch has actually yeah. had without a game this season. Yeah, we did have a period earlier on because I vertically drained and then three weeks later we played on it. So, um, yeah, it's going to be weird now the next three weeks, um, keeping everything ticking over. Obviously, the team's going to be up and about and on the coach and everything. Um, and uh, we'll obviously keep, we've got to keep it functioning and keep it decent for the last game of the season. And um, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Um, and then, then our fun starts as groundsmen when we're, you know, we're already preparing for next year with plans. And um, as soon as, you know, as soon as the pitch becomes available to us, then we'll uh, we'll do the same as we do every year and give it our best shot and, um, you know, and, and get ready for next season and produce. Hopefully, if we produce a pitch like we produce this year for every game, uh, then I'll be I'll be really proud. Um, if we can make it any better, that'd be great. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, yeah, really been a it's been a, a good season for us um, uh, as groundsmen. We've been lucky with the weather. Um, we've been lucky the way the fixtures fell. Um, so yeah, I can't really say much more than that. Um, Just to end then, as we always do, what was on the menu today? Okay, today was um, uh, pork sausages uh, with leek and black pepper with uh, sort of caramelised onions dressing in a French demi-baguette thing. So we've gone French rather than Scottish like we were last time. Um, and then John has uh, made some amazing carrot cake, which we had a little bit to lift our spirits when the rain came in earlier. 
Um, so, yeah, and obviously we're very lucky that we get a pie um, from the catering huts. Uh, but I think, to be fair, they sell out pretty quick. So I think you've got to get in there quick. I shouldn't advertise that because we're doing well with that already. <laughs> um, we can't get enough pies. But, uh, yeah, I think all in all, it was great last, last week with the place being full. Um, and, yeah, I think we're on, we're on the up. We're on the up. That we certainly are. Great way to end up as well. Thanks very much, Charles. We'll let you crack on and uh, well finish whatever it is you need to do to get the pitch ready. Yeah, and I'll see you in three weeks. See you in three weeks? Yeah. Well, I'll see you before that, but I'll see you probably oh, yeah. in three weeks yeah. on here. Okay.